Located on the Mexican border, the city of San Diego serves as a checkpoint for Central American migrants who come to the U.S. in search of a better, safer life. These are all my things, clothes and documents. This woman did not want her name used. With just one bag and four young children, she traveled 5,000 kilometers from Honduras through Guatemala and Mexico to the U.S. border where she applied for asylum. I decided to come to the U.S. after a gang stormed into our house in Honduras and raped me and my 13-year-old daughter. After family asylum seekers cross the U.S. border, they are transferred to immigration detention centers. When their papers are processed, they are released in the U.S. with an electronic bracelet attached to an ankle and no guidance about what to do next. This woman and her kids got lucky. A human rights organization helped them. So this is our main dormitory, and um, we've been getting a lot of people every day. This is the only short-term shelter for asylum seekers in San Diego. Immigration officials used to help migrants unite with relatives and get transportation while their cases were being reviewed. But they stopped in October 2018. Once the program ended, then they started releasing these people um, by the Greyhound stations. They would just point and they would dump them on the streets. Well, I just think it's really sad what's going on, and I wanted to, you know, help out. I, these people need help, so here I am making heating up tortillas. While volunteers finish making dinner, a long line forms near the canteen doors. Almost all adults have kids with them. In addition to hot meals, they get medical help and moral support. Volunteers also help with bus tickets and transportation. We arrange for them their travel and also transportation from here to their uh, bus or airplane. Since October 2018, more than 250,000 migrants have been admitted to the U.S. across the southern U.S. border, twice as many as the year before. Shelters are overpopulated. San Diego authorities promised to find a larger shelter and voted to sue the Trump administration for mishandling the migrant crisis. The influx is so large, ICE officers say, they only have resources to register the newcomers. We're getting about 100, up to 200 people a day, individuals from family groups, that are being released in the community pending their immigration hearing. And so because of the, 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 the increases, that's why we can no longer spend any time uh, assisting with uh, what we call the, the um, um, getting them to find other destinations. Only 10 percent of migrants from Central America are eventually granted asylum, says Archambault. The rest either go back to the country they fled or continue living in the U.S. illegally. For Kristina Shevchenko in San Diego, California, NRI's Leary News.